So how does this work? Do I just start touching myself and it just charges me by the minute? I'm already finished. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Elixir and Jokes Podcast, Episode 8. I don't Something. even know anymore. Yeah, it's not six. It's not two. It's not one. That's for goddamn sure. No, feels like a long time ago that that was. Tomago, but God, that's a Japanese dish made with eggs. favorite game they're all going to be our favorites because i don't really know what the favorite is but smudge you guys know the rules it just flashed across the screen probably or i'm getting really fucking lazy and just don't care uh you got four tries you lose one point with each one i haven't given points in three episodes nobody who watches it wins that's for goddamn sure i just picture mike seeing the picture of him come up for the first time and his his just whole emotion just going downcast and that's probably why mike hasn't been very active <laughs> he's distancing there, himself. there's a direct correlation in you manipulating him <laughs> look like i blew him to him just being like ah oh, maybe i haven't been around those guys and they've changed in the interim yeah hi mike just... love you buddy hope you're yeah. doing okay all right here's your first image james if you can get it good for you you'll get however many points if you don't Oh well. Oh fucking well. Oh right. <laughs> it's you with clown makeup on and your mouth has turned into a vagina. <laughs> Not the shape of a vagina, an actual vagina. It's just Yeah. Yeah. Good guess, but not gonna give it to you. Alright, image number two, you lost the point. Can you do it for three points? Let's find out! Uh, I still have no fucking idea what this is. The pale skin is uh, really upsetting me, though. Um, honestly, what it kind of looks like, it's an anime thing. Gotta stop sharing first. Wouldn't want to cheat on this important thing we do. <laughs> All right. For two points, if Ramon's watching, that's a dos. That's a dog, for sure. That's enough it's, to get the points. I mean, yeah. it's a it's a dog. Is he doing something kind of strange? Sure, but it's the real, real happy dog with a like a piece of cereal in his mouth or something. I don't know. It is very upsetting the way you manipulated it. I mean, it's not a great photo to begin with. Yeah. The dog's eyes are weirdly Disney-ish, and it's upsetting me. I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. You got one point. All right, image number two. Let's get them points. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> There's no way you're going to get this. I mean, you're correct. There's no way I'm going to get this. It looks like a belly button down at the bottom, maybe. Like, maybe this is like uh, one of those biology mannequins. Right here? Uh, where it shows, like, the muscle tissue and stuff like that. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. It's real fucked up looking if that's what it is, though. That is where I blurred so many pixels it just didn't know what to do. All right, no points. Let's keep it going. Version number two. This one's a little bit, little bit less fucked up. I mean, it's some kind of rainbow pattern, right? Um, it, it looks like maybe there's like a doorknob in the upper right corner now. Like, if you see what I'm talking about, like, yeah, right about there. That almost looks like a, a doorknob that's been really fucked up. I don't know, unless this is just like a screenshot from the double rainbow video from... <laughs> YouTube thing before YouTube became YouTube. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this could be. That means we're down to one point. Incorrect. All right, so this one's going to help a little bit because I only blurred one side. Yes. If you want to call AJ live during the show, simply put your name down in the comments and I'll message you his phone number. <laughs> All right, well, now it's very obviously like some sort of creature standing in a toilet. 
I think the real question is why they're standing in the toilet. Are they emerging from the toilet? Is that big red streak that comes out of the blue there a hog? Um, yeah, I don't know. It just looks like a person maybe stepping out of a shower into a toilet or something. Close enough. You know what? I'm going to say one point. Here is the... There it is. It's a person diving out of a bathtub into a toilet with part of their body painted like a rainbow. Yep. And the part that I was afraid was a hog was the guy's face. Like, he's been upside down for a while, and all the blood has rushed there. He might also be dead, like yeah. Maybe he's got something coming out of his asshole. <laughs> I don't know what's going on at the top of that picture. Oh, it's me. It's me licking his asshole. I see. Your well, that explains why I didn't <laughs> the disappointment in your voice is fucking hilarious. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. We're going to give you the point on that just one. Just post your phone number in the comments. I may not even message it to anybody at this point. The way you said it, man, there's something coming out of its asshole. <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> Just another Thursday night bender for old James, where I shrunk myself down and folded the rest of my sweater <laughs> behind my body, and decided to chow down on some random guy's asshole. So one point, I think we did the point right. Sure. <laughs> so this Still one close enough. <laughs> Would have been hard to get it completely right since I would have also also intuited that I would be there eating the guy's scrum. But this one, I intentionally left one part of it more recognizable than the other. You know, on this show, we are very kind with children. I mean, it's very obviously a tiny child. What's taking place from there, I cannot tell. Yeah. Maybe one more level of clarity will uh, assist me. Or maybe it won't. If you know what it is right now, get in the comments. <laughs> You're, this is a, t Make a sure tough you one. Click that bell. Mm, it's a baby and a fucked up animal. Is it a dog? I mean, the baby looks like it's on a person's lap. And then there's like a cat or maybe a marsupial or a real fucked up dog or something like that. It looks like they're posing next to an animal, but maybe it's slightly less than friendly. Let's find out. Let's go one deeper. Let's do this thing. So all you need to do is guess. The last part that I did not blur. And bonus points if you can get the Easter egg that's blurred. So what is that thing that I have blurred out? I don't know. I'm looking at the fucking jeans and feet in the mirror there. That's what's kind of caught my eye. Those little tootsies just peeking out underneath the denim there. Maybe a second child who's just standing there or being like running the water or something. I don't know. It's a weird one for sure. Before I put up the new image, what does every American family need a gun sorry two guns two guns <laughs> one gun ah so close is that the uh, <laughs> is, is that the peace sign that is the peace sign i didn't know that. <laughs> magazine on a uh a hunting rifle that's a lot of bullets for a hunting rifle i will say well uh, you know beautiful pink stock you know um I think, honestly, my only real complaint with this image is uh, it looks like there's another gun on the toilet that they decided not to show off. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know, it's but a bummer. It's, it's an interesting family here. I mean, it's an interesting dynamic, you know? You have a lot of mirrors around your hot tub. There's <laughs> Tresemme shampoo. Are you really shampooing your hair in this hot tub that you <laughs> sit in with your dog and your baby and your gun? Yeah, probably not. And you see in the mirror up here that. <laughs> ah, there I am pleasuring Mike <laughs> with my mouth as I do. And there's no context. And I'm also, just the dog is haunting. Uh, yeah, I mean, because it kind of looks like it could. I mean, it's a dog, but it definitely looks like it could be some type of other thing too. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a large rodent that's just like inhabiting a dog body or something. It's, it's got like the face of a raccoon or a p possum or a giant, something like that. But it's a mangy looking dog. And then look at the babies. You see the the baby's got his hand on the trigger. What is up with babies? Yeah, babies and guns on my show. 
are always murderous or suicidal. It's just yeah, I don't know. This is giving me like if it wasn't for the shampoo, I would say this is giving me like real Eastern Bloc vibes. But <laughs> with the Trace of May there, I mean, unless they're really importing the best American products, I'm forced to concede that this is probably like in Colorado somewhere. Guys, like I want to take picture of everything I care about most in the world, baby. <laughs> you, our baby, our dog, and our gun. Can we baby. sit on the couch? Fuck you talking oh. about. <laughs> get all this money on this hot tub for us not to take pictures in it. <laughs> and look at her dead eye. Her eyes are dead, man. She has died inside. Yeah, well, at least she got a cool pink gun. Thank you for playing. I don't remember the points. Who cares? Editing, I'll take care of all that. Everyone, give James a hand. Not right, applause. I definitely didn't mean hand job. Well, we could discuss it. How many points is it going to take to get James a hand job? It is the eternal question. <laughs> All right, folks. Now we're going to move to bad hints, where we both have a couple of uh, bad hints to play. Go look up that movie where uh, Dave Bautista was like a cult leader, and he breaks into a people's house, and he's like, you're going to save the planet by me killing you or some shit. That's right. And YouTube audience, you probably have nothing better to do because it's not like you're really watching this shit right now. You might have it like playing it's in the background. Watching some other <laughs> shit anyway. <laughs> Audio on like 30% while you're watching like some porno. So maybe you or... have this up on one screen while you're playing video games on the other. Hello, Call of Duty. Where are we dropping? <laughs> Hashtag Fortnite. I mean, I'm playing a game right now. I'm on the other screen. I'm barely tuned in, so I don't blame you guys. Hell yeah. Everybody's Number one. A game where we do bad. Yes, four tries, four points, starting at four. All right, here we go. I'm going to start off. James, these are all video games taking place in the PS1 era. We'll say Ooh. one of them might have been right before. We'll say 1994 to 2001. I think that's the year that would fall in all, all these games. All right, hit number one. Murderer just loves history and murder. Murderer just loves history and murder. Man. Ten words, huh? Okay. Murder just loves history and murder. Only one word in there helps a lot with the, with the I game. Mean, the first thing that comes up is Assassin's Creed, but that's not PS1 era, so... Um, that would work for Assassin's yeah. Creed, though, but... Mm. <clears throat> history and murder? I don't know. Where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? Could have been a PS1 <clears throat> game. You don't know. It probably was. It probably was. Let's be honest. All right, number two. Fuck nature. You'll kill everything. Wolves, bears. Is that a rare endangered panther you see? You'll shoot a literal unlimited amount of handgun bullets into their beautiful bodies. Yeah, I don't know. The only thing I think of is Uncharted. And again, way, way out of the time zone. So uh, I'm going to say uh, Inspector Gadget. Incorrect. Hint number three. This hint... Should shed light on, on this a little more. The only thing bigger than your brawn is your bra and shotgun. You'll also kill literally every person along with the stupid animals. Tomb Raider? Yes. Cha-ching! And he got it. Two points! Kill animals in Tomb Raider? In the first one? That's all you I kill. I actually played a Tomb Raider game, so yeah, no idea. You don't I, even. I was more familiar with like monsters and spooky shit that she finds in said tombs, but uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, this video game falls in the same era as your video games. So uh, buckle the fuck up. Uh, hit number one: Relive the pandemic as either a man or a woman in this classic game, where a pharmaceutical company does an oopsie whoopsie and releases a virulent pestilence on a population. I know the game, and I never knew what it was called. Uh, uh, pl plague? Uh, that is incorrect. All right, here's hint number two. Explore a classic colonial residence filled with ancient artwork and stunning statuary as you explore rooms and treacherous hallways. Oh, I'm not thinking of that game. Then I was wrong anyway. Boy, aren't I a silly bitch. <laughs> well, AJ's a silly bitch. Get in the comments <laughs> and call him a silly bitch. Uh, Resident Evil. 
That's correct. Uh, hint number three was shoot a variety of undead from people to animals and even monstrosities as you solve puzzles and unravel the mysteries of Raccoon City. And then hint number four was enter into a residence filled with evil where Chris Redfield <laughs> and Jill Valentine attempt to escape the residence, which is filled with evil, which which some would argue makes it an evil residence, or perhaps evil lives in the house, making it the resident evil. All right. So, woo! Number two. Hit number they one. determined it through extensive research. Yes, and big words and jargon. Man takes his adopted daughter on vacation in beautiful town, away from traffic, crime, and smog. Hmm. You could ignore the traffic. And, well, not really, because there's no... It, it's relevant. Alan Wake? Great guess, but that was, I believe, Xbox. It first came out in, like, 2007, because I, I loved that game. But maybe it was that... Ah. But no, not Alan Wake. Number two. You meet wonderful and important professionals, such as a police officer, a nurse, and a hospital director. Silent Hill? Silent Hill. You got it. Okay. Number three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you said that, I mean, that made perfect sense for the, <clears throat> the first one as well. I just couldn't <clears throat> think of any other really misty games. But yeah, the traffic crimes or whatever. Yeah. I didn't think you'd get it on the second one, but fuck, you did. And the third one was, the fog really takes away from this beautiful town, though it's more like ash. The town isn't very nice, and the nurse seems to be bleeding profusely. And then number four, on top of a hill, covered in silence, Harry must find and defeat the monster that's creating the other monsters. In the end, you can win, you can lose, or you can get abducted by aliens. Uh, this one takes place a little bit after the PS1 era. I think it's more, uh, middle of PS1, closer to PS2 era, somewhere around, like, the 2000s, um, early to mid-2000s. Uh, hit number one. This classic game takes place in space, where you can move around in lower gravity as you explore various locations and meet interesting species. Mm. Mass Effect. That is incorrect. Uh, let's go to hint number two. With a variety of weapons at your disposal, you and folks you meet along the way will do battle with the forces of, if not evil, at least inconvenient. Well, let's just move on to the third one. All right. Leap with your genetically engineered body as you battle the Covenant and the Flood using a variety of pistols, rifles, and vehicles. Is this Halo? This is Halo Combat <sighs> Evolved. This is not I've... I never got into Halo. I never tried it. I mean, I, honestly, but uh, it's a tough game to drop hints about because if you say like space and combat, like that's like top three for sure. So I, yeah. so I left it intentionally vague there. Uh, your fourth clue, which uh, as we all know, usually is there to uh, paint it obviously with irony, is like Beyonce once saying, "Halo." All right. What for the last one? Watching this video. <laughs> just imagine that one audience member getting more and more offended each time we derogatorily talk to them like i'm not an asshole i don't want to have dicks on the screen yeah, I uh. to fucking leave. <laughs> i clapped last time uh. exactly what they sound like <laughs> <laughs> i mean if they're watching ours shit then yeah i doubt they're gonna be the sipping tea type you know all right, hit number one. Stand on wood and put the wood on other wood. Or metal, if you want. Minecraft? No, it's still the era of PS1. Get bonus points if you can put the wood on metal while turning or doing other motions. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. That's it. You got it. Third hit was, it must be an RPG because you grind a lot to achieve the correct amount of experience to win. And the fourth hint... Like a hawk, board over rails, ramps, and benches to ollie up your points like a true Tony Award winner. <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? For thy verts are sick, and thy error <laughs> is massive. All right, well, that's the game. Now we're going to go to everyone's favorite part, especially James. Intermission. So as you guys know, we get to know James a little bit each episode. Besides last episode, we check into his past just to see, you know... Things that he did growing up, that kind of stuff. 
So I'm going to throw up uh, another picture, and James is just going to tell me, you know, about what's going on in that phase of his life. Here we go. <laughs> ah, I mean, it looks to be a mayonnaise bottle on top of a mayonnaise bottle, unless that's like a fan that's been placed between them, which is an interesting place for a fan if it is a fan, because it would only be blowing one spunk onto the other spunk. Yeah, one, one of them you know, likes it. It's just a different time in my life. Um, uh, eat it up, Daddy. I, <laughs> hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah, I don't know. Even looking at it just makes me uncomfortable. Just trying to, like, like if you had to guess with the mouse where their vaginas are, like, where would you, like, where would you ballpark it? Because I don't think it's where the fabric, for the one on the left, nope. where you can see all of the fabric, be, it looks like it's being sucked in almost. I don't think it's there. Well, congratulations. Thank you for sharing that beautiful time of your life, James. And while we're on the subject, we'll go ahead and go to the photo op. So today's winner, the first person who commented, actually don't it, it happened at the same time, but I think it was Henry again. He said, geez, James, fix your audio. Said nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> um, here it is. That was rough. Oh. <laughs> Woo! That'll wake you up. <laughs> <sighs> All right. <laughs> well, a lost comment, Henry. You didn't get the reaction you wanted. I refused to fix my audio, but I didn't to make AJ deaf in one ear. So Yes. Now, there are a lot of Easter eggs in this picture, too. But uh, here it is, the photo op. Well, let's see how many I can spot. Uh... My head seems to have been ripped off my body by my luscious <laughs> flowing hair by Henry the Troglodyte, as I like my entrails are spilling out of the the torso there. Yep. Um, if we look in the window, there's definitely me and what looks like a very badly distorted somebody hanging out of the window. Not I quite. Know if we can zoom in on that. that is... Oh no, that's you drinking beer while this chick hanging <laughs> out of the window. There's a monkey on the roof, which is, uh, I don't know if that's part of the, oh, that is part of the original thing. And what's that? He's got an asshole stick. <laughs> In more ways than one. Because yeah. The... yeah, because he's got the stick up his ass. And then there's Henry's <laughs> classic catchphrase, neat. <laughs> yep, there's Honestly, a couple. it just makes me wish that Henry would grow his hair out more. It's such a fab look for him. This is beautiful. can't participate. <laughs> it is, can't participate. Love there's... that. One more that I intentionally made a lot more difficult to catch. Is it on the? Is it above the M on the sign on the tree there? No. It's so tiny. <laughs> so <laughs> tiny. It I mean, is. I just get lost in Henry's eyes. I'd have never <laughs> noticed the bird up there, sadly. But <laughs> he does have such a beautiful face. His tongue out, like. He looked. He doesn't look as angry enough to have torn you in half, but uh, well, no, he, because he's already achieved sexual gratification. So why is he did, chill? yeah, he's like you. He's got the like after he's sexually satisfied, he's just got the dead eyes and. Hmm. and it's nice to know that when I die, my tongue will just roll out of my body <laughs> like a cartoon character. Yeah, I mean, you made uh, you made elegant work of it as usual. <laughs> Uh, I'm just lost in Ramon being an asshole, a stick in his asshole, asshole shirt. Fuck you, Ramon. You got them all. There's the Easter eggs. In the future, I may put some in there and not point them out, and it'll be you guys' job because I'm sure you're still sticking with us this far. It's your job. <laughs> it's your Fuck job. And get to fucking work. <laughs> now we're going to move on to everybody's favorite game. If you haven't guessed now, they're all the favorite games. What's that sound? All right, so this game would have just flashed across the board. You guys know the rules. James is going to hear a sound, and he's going to have to tell me what is going on in that video. What's that sound? Audio only. Here we go. Do you, do you hear that okay? Like a man dying, yeah. <laughs> um, maybe a guy falling off of a, from a height onto a car. That is a good guess. He is falling onto something, but here is what it was. Oh, he popped a soccer ball. Yep. 
<laughs> it was. Uh, good boy. Thank let's you, to Henry, for donating your home movies to this. <laughs> They're all I Henry. See why you, I see why you gave up uh, pursuing your dreams of athleticism. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number two. Here we go. What are you doing, Katie? Katie. 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 Oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, well that's clearly a restaurant and it's clearly a glass breaking. It's just the question is why is it glass breaking? Did somebody drop it? Was it thrown at somebody? Um, given the conversation in Chinese, I'm going to assume that it was an act of defiance and that that glass was aimed at somebody. Alright, let's see. I don't know what language that was. I think it's English. They're just really drunk. We'll find out in a second. What are you doing, Katie? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing, Katie? Having a shit. Ah, and it wasn't a glass breaking at all. It looks like she was pissing or shitting into a sink or a urinal. And uh, as they're not designed to support the weight of a full grown woman, <laughs> Katie's now got some shards of porcelain lodged deep into her lady parts. Yep, and I'm assuming they're oh, drunk, Katie. but... I don't know. I'm pretty sure they... they Could just be a Tuesday. British, isn't it? <laughs> Gavna. Tuesday. <laughs> you having a piss in the sink? Great. Now the one viewer we have is a British guy, too. He's just like, oh, fuck it. Now you crossed the line, mate. I don't like that, you <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number three. Here we go. Uh, so here's what I like to think would happen. <laughs> this guy had a, uh, a ladder set up in his bedroom and he was getting ready to swan Tom bomb with a full erection on top of his partner. Uh, when all of a sudden, uh, the ladder starts to slip and his erection knocks the light bulb on the lamp, uh, that was beside him, uh, off and breaks through it. And then, uh, his wife looks over concernedly as he then slips down the ladder and his erection breaks through each lung on the rung on the way. <laughs> so that's what I think happened in that video. I really wish that was exactly what happened. I really wish. Unfortunately, here it is. I mean, you can save money that way. At least, you know, it's one ambulance ride for two trips to the ER. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of games in the PS1 era, Lemmings following each other off the cliffs. Yes. Mm. So uh, rest in peace, whoever that was. And that's our games. Um, oh, you know what? I do have one thing. Um, Uh-oh. Uh where did I put it? Oh, there it is. It's right here. There it is. Yeah. Yep. I caught it. I got it there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for staying with us, three people. Appreciate it. Remember us. We are two white guys in our 30s. Remember us because after this episode, we're going to fucking die. You're pussy. Pussy, 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 pussy. You're pussy, 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 pussy. Hell yeah, dog. I'm going to get eviscerated sexual style. You feel me? You're pussy. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Sexual style. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me.